some apples can be stored, some sold up to 10 months after they're picked, but how can you tell the difference? Companies are developing technology to show when the food was picked, how nutritious it, how nutritious it is, and whether it contains pesticides. Anna Warner learned how Target is working to give that technology to its customers. Think about this as the ultimate truth detector. We're so inside a Target like warehouse in Lake City, Florida, where food tester Calvin Solomon spends eight hours each day holding what looks like a gun, shooting light into fruits and vegetables. The gun is actually something called a mass spectrometer that scans the produce, identifying a sort of fingerprint of each item. Greg Shoemaker is Target's entrepreneur in residence who came up with the idea. What we want to do is be able to create that profile to say how does that differ or does it differ. Every time he presses this button we get essentially five pictures of that strawberry. This machine is a prototype of what the company hopes will one day be a scanner that will tell consumers everything they could want to know about their food. It's going to let us know and the customers know what they are buying, where it's, where it's from, and how long it's going to last. The work is happening in Florida and here in Cambridge, where Target is partnering with design firm IDEO and MIT researchers to create transparency in the food system. We know less about the food we eat today than in any other time in history. We know less about the food we eat. We know less about the food we eat. Back at Target's warehouse, the scanning has gone on for a month. Thousands of items have been analyzed for nutrient content and freshness. Somewhere in this range here is where, like, vitamin C exists. Each wavy line on the monitor measures a particular level, like for vitamin C, antioxidants, or moisture, which can indicate the ripeness of each piece of fruit. The hope is that one day a single scan will uncover information like where the fruit was grown, even down to which side got more sunlight, when it was picked, and how long it could be before it goes bad. And produce is just the beginning. The team's ultimate goal is to eventually be able to track and identify all foods around the globe. Then hopefully equip consumers with their own handheld devices or smartphone apps to use to scan food. Currently, the Grocery Manufacturers Association says roughly 10% of food purchases are adulterated or misidentified, including horse meat labeled as beef, fine wines diluted with water, or farmed salmon marked as wild. We know how much cotton and spandex are in our clothing products, but we don't actually know what's in our food, which is pretty striking. Marie Braggs is an assistant professor of global public health at NYU. She says this effort contrasts with what she often sees happening in the food industry. Industry spends a lot of money and effort to prevent consumers from knowing what exactly is in their food. So it's in their benefit for us not to really know how long products have been on the shelf or what exactly is in them. But in the future, consumers may not have to depend on any one company for the information they need. So ultimately, Target, for example, might be saying to consumers, hey, listen, our produce is fresher and we can prove it to you. Yeah, think about that. Think about if you say, hey, our produce is fresher, and guess what? We're going to also arm you with the ability to, to fact check that. For CBS This Morning, Anna Werner, Lake City, Florida. Really interesting. Yeah. I think they're on to something. I think so, yeah. too. I had no idea that apples could be stored for no, that long. Either. That explains maybe why they're a little mealy sometimes. What's a guy to believe in? Yeah, we, we blindly shop sometimes and just pick up stuff without really thinking about what we're putting in our cart. I know. We're putting in our mouth. Something to think about. I know how often okay. you two are at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> okay. We go together. Yes. <laughs> she likes apples. I like oranges. That's right. Okay. We're good shoppers, Noah. I know you are. And cookers, too. Yeah. And cookers. Well, I'm not going to say cooking, but we're good shoppers. <laughs>